where is this going to be broadcast on? If it's for kids, I won't say motherfucker then. First and foremost, this is a real special interview for me. It's not. I've interviewed hundreds of people. I've interviewed just about everybody in my bucket hundreds list. Hundreds of people? Hundreds of people. The first hundred. The first hundred. Lorraine, <laughs> David Momo, Mara Realm, I was 15, uh, Luf Lindemann, Gentleman, the Tinder Common, uh, Dorland Triplets, that's what, 61, uh, Huler, Benson, Menorake, Chantresse, Millie Whip, Sunday, Carly Ham, Bell, so Fidek, that's what, 81, uh, Sinusha, Rimini, Licky, and uh, and the Ganuvo family. <laughs> I want to revisit uh, one of your roles. Um, I want to revisit Roger Rabbit. Um, I want to ask you about Roger Rabbit. Can I ask you, I want to, how are you reflecting on your relationship with, with Roger Rabbit? Can you reflect on, um, on this part of your life? That part of my life was when I did that, it was like you know, 30 years ago, but uh, the character Roger Rabbit is you know, uh, part of my soul, because you know, uh, the line in the movie, only when it's funny, you know, it makes people laugh. And, I'm a stand-up comedian, so I relate to that. How do you feel about the influence that um, that art has on people? It's a philosophical question. It's why I do what I do, because artists have touched my soul, and that empowered me to reach out and try and do the same to others. Um, is there any way you can share any odd jobs you had? Did you have any odd jobs growing, like, it's before? Odd, before? Yeah. Well, an odd job, I used to just sell odd numbers. But I, I, I could never get even. <laughs> Watch these people. Who are these people? Oh, Keep an eye on them. They're with me. Are they with you? Yeah, they're with me. They're what do you got? Some kind of crew? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> got more people here than my crew. Yo, get up behind the scenes. Everybody. Better check the IDs. Frisk this motherfucker. He's got some weed on him. <laughs> I know the bud carrier. <laughs> you vape too, don't you, dabster? <laughs> when it comes to your legacy, what do you what do you feel is um some of your Legacy? best work? Well, this leg I see, but this leg I don't. If you go for armature, then my arm won't too. Arms in the man, well, I can say either. My legacy, I want to leave a body of work that will inspire people to become all that they can and uh, reach higher and, you know, touch humanity with love. I know it sounds a bit in love and peace and all, but it's a real sentiment, isn't it? You know, all you need is love. It's about love then, isn't it? You know, doing the right thing for the right purpose. Touching people, never hurting them. It makes you feel better. I mean, art has been played a big role in my life. Tattooed too, man. I got the Invisible Man right there. I have my children tattooed on my testicles. That's why I only had two kids. Yo, man, this guy caught me off guard. Like, I, everybody else, I can compose myself. I can't even keep you a straight face. You compose yourself. I'm a composer. <laughs> I will take the needed line. I will take the needed stance, advance the place to make it dance. Enchanting, but not oblong. What? Oblong. And I got a DeVita, Margarita. How long have you been drawing? How, how, how long has that been part of your life? My whole life. But, you know, I've. Uh, I was not like a naturally good artist. Uh, Tim Burton once said something about he's not that good of a draftsman, but he's real good with imagination. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of guys that that are just naturally brilliant artists. Like the guy that did the stuff in the beginning of this book. Uh, I'm not like that, but I do have a good imagination. Yeah. What type of art do you like working on? Uh, anything that uh, feels right at the moment. What are the type of what are the people that you looked up to? Groucho Marx, Jonathan Winters, Jimi Hendrix, Albert Einstein, Buckminster Fuller, Casso, Chagall, Nikola Tesla, Gurdjieff, The Beatles. Um, another question. Um, what kind of jobs did you have before you were famous? I'm still not famous. <laughs> I was famous, I wouldn't be here. I'd be home at my pool. Go, Drinking cocaine cocktails served by nylon robots from another planet. Uh, the only regular job I had was when I was in high school. I was 16 and I worked uh, selling small appliances.
What is this? Man, I, you asked me a jar, you asked me to explain yes. it to you. <laughs> Thank you. Just do what's in my mind. I love it. Thank you, man. This means a lot to me.